What's up, people? And welcome to Strasbourg, Steve, for a busy, busy weekend of watch alongs, how I usually do things. You know what I'm saying? Um, international breaks over, club football's back. Wanted to get straight into it. I'm joined by my guy Neil, Leicester City fan, obviously. How you doing, bro? How do you how you uh, how you uh how you holding up? I'm good, man. Um it was a well for for Leicester City, it's been a well needed international break, to be honest. We yeah. were kind of going through a bit of a rough patch, and also the other teams behind us had just kept going and kept going. Um, yeah, yeah, coming into the game, we'll get some of the lines for things in a second, but yeah, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to this game, and I think Bristol aren't going to run, run a form, but I think we're in a good position at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if you were just referencing how crazy the table is, I swear to God, Leeds United started off their season with like one win in seven or something like that. They started off very, very poorly, but all they, they went through a mad run. From what? January, and basically from January onwards, they've lost one game, which was in the Cup to Chelsea, and I think maybe a championship game. So they've been, yeah. they've been unbelievable. Are you surprised that they've, like, that? and do you expect them to finish above you or no? I, I've said at the beginning of the season, we're going to stay top of the league. And I genuinely think we'll win. The problem is with Leeds United, um, They've had the run and they've, they're on a great run of form as well. They will drop points more than us going forward. Yeah. They're ahead of us just by one goal difference at the moment. Right. The difference is if you look at some of the team members that we have, we've got experience in terms of managers, uh, in terms of the team yeah. leaders. Leeds are a great team. And they have but a manager, Mark, that's done it before. Got yep. The they'll go up. I genuinely think they'll go up. Yeah. Um, but yeah. what it is, everybody thinks of football in the last what's happened in the last three games. Exactly. So, exactly. In reality, if you look at this, we look terrible. But I still think with the likes of Ricardo Pereira, who's a premiership player. That Premier gave... League and a high quality one, not just like a mid table. He could start for a really good team, like a villa. Easy. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many, I mean, get into, into the lineups and things like even yeah, the yeah, people yeah. on the bench, we've got Connor Cody on the bench, Mark Brighton. I know he's a bit old, yeah. but he's still, he's been there, leadership, done it. Um, yeah. Dewsbury Hall's turning into a leader. Winks is definitely a leader in terms of like, yeah. he knows what he's doing, too good for the league. Um, yeah. Vardy knows what he's doing. So with the team and how we play, I think that, um, and actually, actually, a couple of, one of them, and, and as a, Matt, Matty James used to be our is a Leicester fan, I don't say fan favorite, but he was he's mm. a Leicester people. He's from Leicester as well. Um, we got him from the mm. Man United Academy. We trained up for a few years. Um, nice. Yeah. So look for for us. I think the reason why we finished top is because go, of um, what we're doing and how we are um, how we're going to perform. So I'm really excited, but that's the reason why I think we'll finish above um, Leeds. But their fan yeah. base is massive. <laughs> Especially yeah. online. I don't know if you've seen. My God, they are. Yeah. It's a big club, man. Big following. They got a they got a really decent team. I like seeing them in the Prem. Especially because for my Newcastle local buddies, it's a it's a it's a nice little not a derby, but it's a it's a bit feisty, you know. And and Ellen Road, I don't know if you've been away to there. That's like the dream away away ground for me. Like how hostile and nasty it is. Like I like that. I like that, bro. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds are a Premiership team, a Premier League team for sure. They should be, and they'll probably get there. You're right, but in terms of Bristol, we'll start off with their lineup first. I'm kind of familiar with them, like on a vague. I, I saw them play West Ham in the Cup. Um, obviously beat them over over. They got the draw, and then they beat them at home pretty easily. They just outfought them. So that's what I do know about Bristol. They got a bit of fight about them, but I don't know in terms of quality. That so they've got Max O'Leary in goal. Zach Viner, Robert Dickey, Hayden Roberts, back three. Midfield four will wing backs. George Tanner on the right. Jason Knight, Matty James, who I think you were just talking about, right? Um, mm -hmm. And Cameron Pring. Scott Twine, I think, is on loan from Burnley. I think he's decent. Tommy Conway, Scott Estreicher, and Anis Mamedi. Who's the threat in this team for you? Like, who are you? I have absolutely no idea. I missed the reverse fixture of this. I'm just telling you about a couple. So I used to be a Bristol City fan at the beginning of the season because Nigel Pearson, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. took the mm -hmm. club from where we were and we were in League One, changed it, made it sure that we were um, right, set, set set us up in a good way, brought, blood, um, brought loads of youngsters into the team. And then from that, we end up getting to the Premier League, we get to the Premier League, kept in the Premier League, and Ranieri took us to that next level yeah. for that season. 
that we won the league. So I have a lot of time and respect for him. Mm-hmm. Um, Matty James, uh, but the problem is now they sacked him, uh, I don't have as much affinity. Matty James is still a decent-ish player, keeps the ball mm-hmm. moving. Um, closest play, if you've not seen him, kind of like a Michael Carrick, keep the okay. ball moving, yeah. won't do anything unbelievable. But Captain of the team. Yeah. Of the team. Um, he was he was with us when we won the league, um, and he was he was mm. actually starting ahead of Andy King and Danny Drinkwater. Andy King's on, on the bench. He's been with yeah, us, and I recognize McCrory from Rangers. I recognize this guy uh, Naki Wells. I believe is from Bermuda or something. They got an okayish bench. It looks like, but you compare that to ours and what we've got. Yeah, yeah, right we'll get day. yeah. You're 11. I mean, you've got Mads Hermanson and goal. Hamza Chowdhury, which you're talking about. I'm sure we'll speak about that. Chowdhury playing as a, as a right back. Valt Faiz and Yannick Vestergaard, who I believe has been a very solid partnership. I know Faiz has a moment here and there where he's a bit suspect, but I do like Valt Faiz. Uh, Vestergaard is decent, I, 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 I'm assuming, and thinking for the championship. James Justin, player I like. I think he's decent as well. Kieran Dewsbury Hall, Harry Winks, and Wilfred Ndidi. And then a front three, Mavididi, who I liked a lot at Montpellier. I love that signing for you guys. I love that signing. I think he's been a bit hit or miss sometimes, but when he's on, he's on. Vardy, of course, and uh, Fatawu. So what do you make of the lineup overall for you? It, for me, the lineup is the strongest we could have gone. So Ricardo would obviously start hence Hamza Chowdhury. Hamza Chowdhury is a... Um, there's two players in particular that I'm not too keen on in this team. One, Hamza mm. Chowdhury. I'm a massive Hamza Chowdhury fan. But when mm. you've got Ricardo Pereira, he starts. The reason why he's not is because he's Love just an injury. Um, and Fass is the best player I could describe him to is David Luiz. He looks like David Luiz. He does play like that in terms of he'll be very... When his confidence is high, he's unbelievable. He's such yes. a good player. But to yeah. but a, a difference in a great player, a good player, and a great player, and a, and a world class player, a world class mm-hmm. player will do it game in, game out. What yeah. fast is on a run now where it's kind of lacking, but we don't really. The only person you'd put in that place is Connor Cody, but he's designed to really play in that Vestergaard position. And he's so, better in a three. Who fast? Cody. Cody. Cody's better in a three, but he's better in the center. When he was at Wolves, I think he was playing mainly in a three when he was at his. Yeah. Yeah. He is playing the center of a three as well. Yeah. So he's he, he, again, and probably so I'd say similar, but yeah, over that, I'm happy with that. And Diddy's just coming back from an injury. Um, he's been a big player for us, playing this high eight, been good really player. good, uh, Very works good. his socks off. KDH, KDH Hall has been really good for us, um, recently as well. Big fan. Big fan. Um, Mavididi's on this little bit of like he just it started season, he started off a bit lull, then he went on this amazing run. Um, and then let's see if I can bring it up for you. Uh, let's see if I can find that because I've got the mm. lesser top scorers and things like that. Let me see if I can share that with mm. you one second. He's got yeah, like that 10. might be interesting to bring up from our again if you want to like 10 that. goals in the championship, Mavididi, I believe. 10 um, goals. Yeah, Mavididi's on 10. We've got, um, I've just again, yeah, I've just shared it. So I've got Mavididi's on 11, Kieran Dewsby Hall's on 10, and Jamie Vardy's on 15. Now that's in all competitions. So, right. um, so for that one, yeah, that's where Leicester City are at the moment. Um, mm. Pat Sandaka, I'm surprised he'll probably start on Monday, but he's got to think because there's another game on Monday against Norwich. Yeah, so yeah. quick he's rotation. Got to think about that, but... yeah. And so, yeah, it, we've, we've got the thing is the goal before Leicester City used to be quite stacked in terms of specific players like Cole Palmer from Chelsea, just carrying yeah. them. Yeah. Now we've got, as you see, the formation of the team, it's yeah. kind of split evenly throughout the team, which is good. Yeah. And that's. Again, that's how you know you've got a good team and a good play, good passage of play. Yeah, that's fair. So what you got? Let's see here. Vardy on 15. Mavid, yeah, Mavididi 11. Dewsbury Hall 10 and 13. Yeah, I like Dewsbury Hall. Big, big yeah, fan this, of Dewsbury Hall. This, this is all competitions. Yeah. But what mm-hmm. he is, he is... Ga- do you know what the, the truth is? Um, Enzo wanted to replace him with, um, do you know, McAtee from Sheffield United? Yeah, yeah, yeah. James Mac, unknown from City. Yeah. Yes, they wanted to replace it with him. Now, the issue was, mm. is that we couldn't get it over the line last minute. Um, and also, he right. chose to go and play in the Premier League because with Sheffield United, which is fine. Um, he yeah. was, uh, Kindred Bill's been great, but he's kind of, he's better than Conor Gallagher. 
Um, he gives the effort, gives the output. You've got, as you can tell by the goals and assists, he got, has that end product, and that's what you're going to need for the team. Facts. I just kicked up, by the way. I'm 25. I got the timer actually perfectly synced up. But where are you at in the game? Do you have you kicked <laughs> off yet or not? No, mine's still just warming up. I'll tell you when they kick off. Sure, I'll sure. I'll, 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 I'll give you a... Uh, yeah. No worries, no worries. Is it just me or does Bristol City got a huge pitch? Or is the camera not angle just really high up? Not sure. But anyway, just in, in, terms, of, in terms of who do you think your 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 fate... Do you think Leicester and Leeds will be the top two in Europe? Do you think Leicester will finish top? Or yeah, top I would say so. I would say so. Maybe you could edge it to Leeds just on the fact that Fark has done it before multiple times. He's won champion. How many times do you win the championship with Norwich? Twice? Twice, yeah. At least, At least yeah. I maybe edge it to Leeds, but you guys got good depth and attack as well. And I mean, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I don't think it really matters. I mean, when the. Bro, when Newcastle got promoted, I didn't care if it was first, second, just like yeah. get in, get get back in there. So I'm with but, you. Yeah. But trophy. Right. You know how fact. hard it is to come yeah, across yeah, back yeah. a couple of trophies. I think you did you finish top, right? Or you finished second? Both times. Okay. Both times. Yeah. Okay. So again, you know, so again, getting back to the Premier League is the main that's what we would want at the end of the day. Um no, we've cool. got Ipswich breathing down our neck. They've been brilliant. And I think yeah. McKenna is going to be manager of the season in the championship. Um, right, and so of... League One to possibly Prem. That's crazy. Yeah, it's mental. Were they? Were yeah. they odd? Are they like favorites to get relegated, or definitely in the bottom four in terms of like the odds? I'm sure they, I'm they, sure they're, they're in the bottom. Yeah, because they just come up in the same way that exactly. any team, if they come up from the league, they'll be favorites not to go down, but they'll be towards the bottom of the table. Unless it's like a Wrexham, where it's National League to League Two. Yeah, but they bought the league as well. Right, right. So it doesn't almost... They, they're doing what... They're just the Man City of non-National League, basically. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Um, question for you about Vardy. Wasn't Vardy supposed to go to MLS at one point? So he put a stake in the Rochester Rhinos at one yes. point, and I think they got liquidated about... Yeah, they is did, it this yeah. season or yeah. last season? Yeah, recently, yep. Okay, I'm on one minute at the moment. All right, cool. And I'm let me really know. far behind. That's all good. I'm at. Uh, let me know when you're at three oh five. Okay, I'll let you know. But yeah, um, looks like Bristol City has started quite strongly. Yeah, got a corner early. But yeah, do you yeah, think you'll win? What's your prediction for today? I think we're winning this game. Um, I think Bristol City under Pearson was a strong. I know what because I've I've known Pearson football teams from oh. Less City. The fact that he manages twice. Yeah. Um, for less for, for Leicester specifically, mm. I th- yeah, I think we're winning. I think this new manager, they don't know what's happened to him, but Nigel's mm. Nigel's brilliant. Um, yeah, but he is very like. If you want somebody to say it how it is, he's not PC at all. Um, can I no swear filter. on the stream? No filter, yeah. Okay, cool. So he he's done some stuff. He, he was he done before? He's so some fans shouting abuse behind him, and mm. he told him to fuck off and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and then and then that, yeah, he goes to the press conference and he goes, "No, I'm not going to apologize for that. You, why why have I got to apologize? Why isn't he apologize for shooting abuse, shouting abuse at me?" So um, yeah. I think he's, he's one again, of those guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's brilliant, but yeah. you've got it. But again, he's not good at the reason why he's fired because mm-hmm. you know Alex Scott. I think he's where's Alex Scott at the moment? Bournemouth. Bournemouth. So Bournemouth. Yeah. Very good player. So yeah, thirty-five million they sold him for, and they only bought in five million worth of transfer. So he's going. Hang on, we, I've I've oh, got yeah. this player from our academy, trained him up, and yeah. now I can't. Get my, I, I, and I might need some more money to for, for recruits to take us on to the next yeah. level. And what time he, are you at? Three minutes of oh, three minutes at the moment. Three minutes. Three oh five now. Word. All right, we're synced up. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So yeah. So um, thanks for that. But yeah, no with problem. um, with um, with he just is no. But he what he does is he builds clubs. He's a club builder. 
Oh. Um, but you've got to give him the time. And our owners loved him. The only the only reason why we got rid of him is because his son was involved in this Thailand sex scandal. And oh, they yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they go, owners like choose him or choose your choose us or choose your club. Uh, to say choose your family or choose your or choose your job. Yeah. And kind of respect the goes, I'll choose my, my, my family because he goes, okay, but you gotta leave. Um so that season I thought I thought we were going down because we lost mm. Cambiasso that season. Yes. Um and and Ranieri came in, I was like, oh shit, we're getting relegated. And it was literally the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Dewsbury Hall. Yeah. Uh bit of a deflection. Faz Mavididi though. Go on, take him on, Mavidi. Go on. The DD outside of the boot. Fatawa? Fatawa? Block? Hardy. Yeah, it wasn't good. But Fatawa's one to look out for as well. Like he's it. young, but his ceiling is higher than Ndidi's. Not well. one from sporting, sporting CP, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he looks decent. I mean, we're playing, getting some good positions so far. Yeah. That was nice from Mavididi. What what one thing to look at when you're looking at Leicester? Because I'm really into yeah. like tactical analysis at the moment. Yeah. You'll watch how far them two, even though they're playing as the the two number like like four three three. Oh, here's I'm, Mavididi. I'm Mavididi in the box, Go wide on. open. Patawu. Patawu. Oh, that was poor. Soft, soft pass, cleared out. But, but with them, um, Mavid Robert. with Mavididi as well, he's a good. And they basically play as wing backs. They work mm. so hard off the pitch, uh, off the ball. It's and Enzo. That's one of the reasons why Mavadidi and I think the whole team has been tired and losing mm. because the team's been not team's not been really good enough uh, because they've just been they've they've had to play game in game out. There's no real yeah. there's there's Maketeer who's a replacement, but he's been injured for ages. So we haven't had, we've had no. to rely on Mavadidi, and that's why his form's been off because he's been injured. Right, right. He's, just, he's not been injured, sorry. He's been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Faz, trying to find it. Nope. Cut out there by Twine. Roberts. Robert Dickey. That's a terrible pass. Cardinal That's sin of like. cardinal sin of football and uh, hockey. Never clear up the middle. Never clear <laughs> up the middle from your own, your own, uh, your own net. Stupid. Maddie James, Dickey, Roberts, Cameron Pring. Good cut out there from Chowdhury. Seems like Chowdhury is kind of, what is it, inverting? Is that kind of how you play him? If he plays yeah, it so right play, So, you know, it says 4 3 3, but it's similar because he was Pep's assistant. He plays like a 3 2 4 1. Yeah. Because so, I noticed that Velt Faze is like on the right. Yeah, yeah. So it's a back three basically, because um, and then it's a four three three in defense, as you can see here. It's yeah, a four yeah. three three. But when it, we go to attack, Chowdhury will push up and play alongside Harry Winks in the midfield. Right. So it's it's a. I've been loving doing the analysis for this because it's it's, mm. it's just something different that I'm not used to. Um, Are you surprised that Enzo Maresca is doing this well? Because this is his first job, right? It was a risk, and I'm glad mm -hmm. we took the risk because the other options for managers was Scott Parker, um, yeah. which was like, yeah, but he'll do it this season, but we won't come back to the Premier League. Uh, what was it called? There was a couple of other ones, uh, managers-wise, and I was like, Raph Justin, Benitez. Oh, jeez. Quit. Yo, jeez. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Yeah, Baz. That wasn't you see. Oh, Vardy oh. chasing it. Vardy sloppy touch. What were you saying? Sorry about the Parker. managers, Parker. Park. Gosh, gosh, going back now. This time last year, I can't remember who the managers were, but Moresca mm -hmm. was one that was hanging around for ages. Yeah. Um, and Scott Parker was had an interview. Oh, McKenna was another one. He came for an interview at Leicester City, and we liked. Um, but then. I think it was mostly because he likes it at Ipswich, but he used that to get his new contract at Ipswich. Right. Fair enough. So McKenna and Scott Parker and Moresca were the three favourites, but Moresca was waiting to finish the Champions League final. 
before mm -hmm. he joined. Easy save. Yeah. Manson. He's a good keeper as well. Mads Manson, mm. like a modern, um, modern keeper. I think he's really good. Um, really been impressed with him. Is he good? Is he good claiming crosses and getting off his line and stuff like that too? Is he just yeah, like solid all around? He's a really modern keeper. He will produce a really good save, but his shot stopping isn't the best. But he's but at the same time, he doesn't need to be because at the times he's, he's just walking around the pitch and playing um, yeah. like this as well. Where are you at defensively for conceding goals in the championship? Are you top two best defenses or three or what? I have no idea. Let me have a look. We are. Yeah, so we've gone 33 against. Leeds up 28. Um, So we're second. Yeah, West Brom on 36. Yeah, the second best defense. Damn, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I still think... I go long. Nope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Big up Matt, Bristol Rovers fan in the chat. My bro, my bro, my bro was good. Uh, Nigel Pearson hired a few hours after Joey Barton at Bristol Rovers got sacked and sacked the week as Barton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember you telling me about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pearson's great. Genuinely, I think he he understands the fact. He, he just he's an old school manager, but again, he's not going to take mm -hmm. any shit as well. So if you don't start to see fine, he's he's out as well. It's a good ball to the left. Yeah. Mameti, decent cross in, headed, Bristol, steady, keep possession, good, good ball, position. and behind shot, easy save. Yeah. It was a good play from Bristol, but it wasn't anything like... Decent ball. That was Robert. that good, good position there. Yeah. Damn, five shots already. I mean, really? Really threatening. Yeah, Bristol City. Yeah, Bristol City got five. Only one on target, though. Mm -hmm. Hermanson. Chowdhury. Hermanson. So what we're doing here is we're lulling them out, and then we're yeah. trying to basically break them open. Um, Over the top or on the ground, what do you do more? Oh, we 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 will try and play. I won't say tiki taka, but we try and um, mm. basically play them into position, and then we'll take the ball. Nice spin and turn. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, good. That's and decent. high reward. Vestergaard just to kind of screen him there. Yeah, Vestergaard is the problem. Is he's not good on the turn. He's very. He turns like a cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the ball at his feet is brilliant. So possession wise, mm -hmm. this is a football that he 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 likes to play. It suits them. Yeah. That's the guy, Chowdhury. See, this is the thing. Chowdhury, <clears throat> he's all right, but he's not designed to play um, inverted fullback. I see that also, three that you're talking about. Pro, I, so I see more. that. I, I see that three, two, four, one. You were talking about right in that little yeah moment there. The towel. Nope. Who's been your player of the season, in your opinion? <laughs> God, it's been it's been such a good season. It's hard. Um, mm. <clears throat> last season, I'll give you before I answer the question. Last season, that the fans were so pissed off because obviously we shouldn't have been relegated, but how bad we were, um, and how the, the squad was definitely good enough to steer. Yeah. We yeah exactly. So the Leicester City, they normally have like you know they have the awards evening and they have the players player of the season. Um, so the that. fans player of the season they vote on, and we gave it to our third goalkeeper. That doesn't play a single minute, just kind of like was as a troll, and the Taking club the refused yeah. to give him the award. I was like, okay, that's just fair enough. Because no, yeah. I didn't do an award. I was like, normally I, this season I will, but last season I was like, there's nothing to celebrate. There is right, just awful. Right, right. Um, but yeah, this season there's been a few. There's like Hermanson, Winks, Vestig no, Vestigard, no, Ricardo, player of the season as well. Um <clears throat> but there's been so Ooh, many contenders. Decent. Good, ball, good place, good place. Didi, cross. Ah, Come on, man, should have done better. That was by Dicky. Evadidi header. James Justin. Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Mevadidi on the right. 
Oh, can I take them on? Foul? No, no, I don't think that's a foul. Yeah, but yeah, Mavidi looks like Mavidi, but he's not quite. He had a very similar game to this against Chelsea, and then he put mm-hmm. one an absolute brilliant, so probably the best goal he super scored. Goal. Super, um, super the goal. two-two. Yeah. Max O'Leary on the ball. O'Leary. How many away games do you go to and home? Um, I try. So, the, this is a, so I try and go to about a game a month. Um, mm. How many away games I've been to this season? I've been to three. Mm. Um, but what it is is I'm reconnect. I'm reconnecting. I spent a lot of time watching that city in the championship. So I'm picking clubs that A, I've enjoyed going to and B, friends that I've not seen in a long time that we've not managed to yeah. play. Um, so I've been to like Swansea. Good, pressure, to... good press, good press. Well, they played out of that decently is that well. Is that playing that high? It yeah. Is. And then Foss. Good turn Ooh. shot. Decent save for Madison. Rebound. Decent save again. Corner, no. That's a corner, no? Because yeah. that went, went out. They played very well out of that. You were pressing them very high in that. Yeah, that's the nice guard's complete opposition. That's the guard, yeah, yeah. Fast is not not having. He's been having a quiet game so far. Yeah. Fatal, and again, you see how Fatal was coming behind, and he's playing like wing back as well. Cross. That's not a foul. Yeah, no. <laughs> Chowdhury's like get up. <laughs> what were you saying? Sorry about the away games, seeing friends that you haven't seen in a while. Yeah, because I started watching S City in the championship. Yeah. Um, so I'm just seeing friends that that I've met through football that I've not seen in ages since we came up to the Premier League. So I'm only picking yeah. them once. So Ferris. Some shithead Bristol City fan brought in a megaphone with the Supreme to game recently. Might be still doing it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anything to get an atmosphere though. Facts, facts. Yeah, European yeah. And South Americans do it best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batawu? Okay, what's he going to do here? Batawu? Okay. He's in pass. Mavididi. This is the role. Is yeah. Rihal good strength just to hold off Dewsbury Hall there? I'd like to see Wolfred and Didi get into those high positions as well because he plays really well with Fatal on that right hand side. Base. Winks, Winks, Vardy, nice move. Winks, Mavididi, getting that ball to the left a lot. Mavididi, cross, headed out by Cameron Pring. Fatawu, mm. foul? No. Mm. I like how the ref isn't really calling much, to be fair. I like the physical element of it. Yeah. Typical championship in it. And also, no VAR. It's been so no blessed. VAR, yeah. That's fair. Even Sometimes though the standard referee in VAR, I'm not looking forward to it next year. <laughs> O'Leary. It adds. Cleared out. Oh, come on, Fast. Fast. Oh, Conway? Foul? No. no. That's waved away. Got away with one a little bit there. Yeah, in the prem that could have been called a pen to be honest. How did you get into football, Steve? 2014 World Cup. Uh, oh no was, way! Yeah, I was just watching TV. Uh, just Ooh, in the summer, yeah, had no yeah. interest in football, but I was just flicking through channels. I was like, I don't really want to watch baseball. Uh, White Sox weren't playing, so I was like, all right, I'll just look around. ESPN. Ooh, wow. ESPN had the. Uh, Ooh, Mavididi, Justin. Strike. Yeah, one. I should have done better. So basically, yeah, the first ever football game I watched was Brazil, Croatia, the opening game of the 2014 World Cup. And then the USA played the day after. And uh, okay. we, beat, we beat Ghana. Beat Ghana two to one. John Brooks scored in the first minute. Ghana equalized later in the game. And then I believe it was Clint Dempsey who scored the winner <laughs> late in the game. And I was like, America. I love this fucking sport. I'm in. I'm hooked. Completely hooked. And it's just been, yeah. Since then, I've been just obsessed with it, really. Fuss is having a bit of a stinker. He's having a stinker again. He needs to be dropped, man. He needs to bring somebody else in. Yeah. 
because this is not not confident. Yeah, he's just again, I told the same before the game again, he's not on a run of form, he's not really that confident at the moment. Yeah, kind of looks like it. Dewsbury Hall, ah, nice deflection though. Mavididi trying to take on, um, defended well by Bristol City. I think I'm a bit ahead of you. Mavididi. Yeah, my thing glitched out for a sec. Okay, I'm on 18. I'll let you know when I'm 17 seconds. I can pause mine for a bit. Yeah, no worries. Hold on. Okay, 18.50. Let me know when you're on 18.56. 56. Cool. Oh, cross. Nobody there. Justin heads out. Corner third of the day for Bristol. Third corner. We're we're not that good at defending corners as well. Not as bad as we are last season, but we're Which not. Which is weird because you have a Vestigard, you have Faze. Those guys should be, yeah. I guess so, but we just, I don't know. Something's not, can't really defend corners. Vestigard's yeah. a weird one because you'd think he'd be really good. And he's he doesn't really yeah. jump. He's yeah. so tall that he doesn't need to jump. He doesn't really jump. Yeah. He's one of those. One of those. Corner. Bit too far. Gets ahead on it. Easy for Hermanson. He's about face. Face. Master guard. Phase is lacking in conf- fast is lacking in confidence, man. Master guard. I bring Cody on. Half time, or even sooner. Yeah. yeah. He won't. He'll persist. He. I know Enzo. He's a bit stubborn. He will persist mm. with, um, fast for the whole game. And so are those kind of his two. Off. Are those kind of his two flaws as a manager? Maybe, uh, stubbornness and uh, what was the other one? The the what's it called? Set piece defending. I'd say so. It's not the set piece, not a massive, massive issue, but that's just uh, one one way teams can exploit you. Yeah, I'd say I'm not as confident when I've come from set piece, considering the height right. of the back line. Um, right. And yeah, he's stubborn specifically around. I can understand why Chowdhury's playing because um, um, Ricardo's not fit, which is totally understandable. Mm-hmm. And then anything else, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but all the, I'm talking about like 9.4. Five nine point eight out of ten. I'm happy with him. So we're talking yeah, about yeah. the basics. He's been phenomenal for us this season. And you yeah. look at Pep when he joined. It took them over eighteen months to start to, and for the players that come into the system, like you know, really, yeah, takes some eighteen months to get yeah. them to understand. Like, all right, this is the Good tackle there, Chowdhury. Fair play to the ref. And I thought it was a foul, but he's he's not been calling much to the ref really. Allowing okay. a lot of this is what we Let's hold it in a high space and work it around and tire them out. This is what we did earlier in the season where we t- we did this. We we tired them out. We passed around them mm-hmm. and we kept in these positions. And then when it came to 70, 80 minutes, the team, the opposition just looked knackered and we just went for the jug. Yeah. Okay, we're moving it back now. Oh, a bit of a sloppy ah. pass. Intercepted by Dickey. Turnover, though. Deucebury Hall. Oh. Mavididi, Steffi, Justin, Mavididi, Mavididi. Ah, something's off at the moment. It's not quite. The, the, something's a little it's bit. It's well, Bristol. Whenever someone know, gets the ball, there's a pocket it's of fluffy, two or three. There's sloppy passes, and that's yeah, what I'm disappointed too, yeah. with. Winks. That's your guard. I agree, Matt. By the way, I've heard a lot about the Bristol Derby, but it mm. doesn't it, it it doesn't get played much because they're either in League Two or sorry, League One, and you you guys just never meet up. And same <laughs> with the Cups, obviously. But I heard the Bristol Derby is like crazy, very underrated. Bristol's a big city, right? It's a decent city. It's a biggish city. Yeah, I think it's is it ten. Mm. It's one of the top ten cities in the UK. Yeah. Well, it depends what you compare it to, because again, you compare that to a city in the US, and it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But comparison, comparatively, in the UK, it's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's a nice place to go if you ever if you ever go if you ever come over to the UK. Some mm. good there's some good spots here. Mm. Roberts, O'Leary, clear out. You're pressing them, but they're doing well. We though. are, but we're not. I don't think we're pressing as a unit. It's just individuals yeah. that are pressing. And like I think a pack kind of formation. Yeah. yeah, this is good play. This is good play. Come on. The towel, good block. Ah, good play, Ndidi. Phase. Chowdhury. This is nice. Come on. Towel. Gets a beating of Pring. Ah, oh, Pring mm, got a corner. I got corner. Oh, wow. Only London, Birmingham, Manchester, Glasgow, and Liverpool are bigger in terms of population than Bristol. Oh, wow. Fair enough. And Glasgow is in Scotland as well. So, if yeah, you so take yeah, it's the fifth biggest city in the fifth biggest city in in England. Oh wow! Mm. I knew it was big. I didn't know it was top five. Wow! Mm. Bears. Good cross. Eh, not so much. That was awful. It looked that all was, right. For a moment. Even the refs like thank God that was rubbish. Yeah. Mm. He just ran into him. Yeah. And this re—I don't know if you're seeing the same re replay of like this is not a this is not a foul. Yes, it's a tug, but that's not enough for a pen. Yeah, yeah. Just just goes down. I think he goes down a, a maybe a tiny bit early as well. Looked like in that replay, O'Leary cleared out. Foul. <laughs> Vardy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking timeless man I swear to god oh yeah he yeah that's a foul <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many years in the tank do you think he's got like do you want you don't want him in the Premier League next season if you make it to be your first choice right well we've got four strikers yeah um, so at the moment Cannon, yeah Nacho Vardy, will go yeah, Nacho. he's out of contract Jamie Vardy I think is just there's, so if you look at the old, I think Jamie Vardy gets underrated in terms of the top. I think he's like eleventh all-time Premier League top scorers. Yeah, like he's ridiculous. Like well, his the numbers. record still for consecutive amount of Premier League games scored in. Right, he scored in yep. 11, eleven or twelve. Yeah, 11. um, one of my Who friends, Al Mark, has got a podcast named after it. He's got it's eleven, it's yeah. heaven for Jamie Vardy. His, his whole oh, go on. Got a whole That's good defending. Up. Just to nearly poke that yeah. away. Good defending. But it looks like we're gaining confidence a little bit now. We're yeah. hurrying them. We're growing into the game. Yeah. And we're kind of like putting them under a bit of pressure, which is good. Yeah. Which need the goal. But yeah, so Jamie Vardy doesn't do as much running as he used to do. He mm -hmm. picks his moments. I yeah. stay for next season. Give him one more season. If it was me, um, obviously I'm in this position. Give him one more season. Get him into that top 10 of all time. Because what it is, I think Michael Michael Owen's on 11. Mm. Uh, so no, Michael Owen's on 10. Good in the position. And he only needs about he only needs about eight more goals. Oh, that was awful, mm. man. What are you doing? Yeah, not a good pass. But yeah, not good. Um, like, would you get a striker for would 11, you buy it? No, go on, sorry. Go on. Go on. I don't know who would get because We've got Tom Cannon, who I think is a really good striker. Pats and Dacca is usually the number one. Irish kid, Cannon. Yeah. He's a good he's player. Like he's got a lot of potential. Yeah. And he's like the hybrid of like Jamie Vardy and the Pats and Dacca. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So uh, what? Good with both feet. Hustles, that kind yeah. of okay. Can can put off, can can play like big man, can put push off a defender yeah. if he needs to. Good at with his feet and natural ball finisher. Free kick hit in this position. Oh, two. oh yeah, he, yeah, he, he kind got of slapped in the head. Yeah, that's not. I don't say that's not much of a foul, but I'll take it. I guess, yeah. Now, how are you on that pieces scoring? It will be. I think this will be an indirect free kick. Right. Um, I don't think this will be. A, I think the only scorer, ironically, from a set piece has been Mavididi. Yeah, Mavididi. And even that oh, took wow. a deflection. 
um, I think this is what we were looking at. We were looking at, you know, um, Sensi from Inter Milan. Yeah, Stefano Sensi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were looking at getting him. Um, He's but... in Bowen phase. Oh. That was it. That was ah. that was a chance to put it away, man. Come on. I think he got it with his chest or something. Good ball. Yeah, with his chest. Uh. Oh, no, he got it with his... Yeah, he did get it with his... Yeah. He's just off. He's yeah. just again. He's just. He's not a conf. He's not on confidence. He just needs to be dropped for a couple of games, and that's fine. But don't oh. insist on playing him because he uh -oh. will concede. That's that's good. That's, uh, good play. that's a good play. Addy James. Can't. Uh, no. No. No, Maddie. Yeah, he just doesn't get quite the good technique on that shot. Hermanson. <laughs> he's so calm. He's so calm. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He's a, so lot calm. Other, a lot of other goalkeepers or even players would be like, oh, oh. yeah. But he's just like, all right, word. <laughs> so he, he's, he's just, yeah, he's great with his feet. He's a decent shot stopper, but he's not a world class. He's, but. He's he will Good go enough. for a lot of money, in my opinion. Yeah, when he gets that um, next next season. Mm. Fies, Hermanson. So what we're doing here, we play this, and then what we're trying to do is pull them out of position yeah. so that we've got that ball, not this ball away. There's a couple of balls away that we can play, and we're just trying to pull them. You know, you know what Brighton do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have a lot of, like a lot of Brighton's possession people like they're very very offensive team yes yeah. but they keep a lot of their possession in their own half a yeah. lot of it and I've seen and, a few yeah. times Mavididi go on oh, oh that's <laughs> close bro that's really that's close, close. That was, love... you see pull out of position yeah. and then we were nearly it nearly worked again. That's a really nice ball. Three passes as well. Three passes. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. So that's kind of what Brighton do. Yes. They the one or yes. two passes bring people out of position, and it almost looks, if you look at the highlights, that they're playing counter attack. Yeah. Yeah, but they keep but a lot of possession in their own half. A yep. lot of it. Done well there again. That's a foul. Yeah, it's given. Vardy will get one. He just misses. Yeah, that, is... that was unlucky. That was yeah. Unlucky. Yeah. I love that. I love your away shirt, by the way. I love that color combo. Thank you. It's it's an old. So I think when Le when Leicester first started, that's one of the original mm. like designs that we had, like the sash. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like a homage to. I think we had it in 125 years as well. We had it nice. about uh, how many years ago? I think we had it like 10 years ago. We had a similar shirt in reference to that mm -hmm. as well. Um, no, more than 10 years ago now, but yeah, around like 15 years ago. It just does it come off the post? Oh, it just does. Yeah, just barely. That's a boot, just barely enough to get it over. Trying to flick on Vervardi, Ndidi, Dewsbury Hall, Justin, Winks. Smart pass. Oh, yes. Fez. Again, break, take on the pressure and break the pressure. Yes. This, is the, this is the fast run. The fast has one of them every game where he'll, he'll just go, fuck it, I'm going to go for it. Um, go on, fast, keep going. <laughs> It's, it's like me playing football. Absolutely no idea, but I'm going to give yeah. it a go. Yeah. That's funny. Now it's going back. Obligatory fast run, 33 minutes. 32 minutes. <laughs> hey, that's funny. Yeah, big up Warrior J93, Ed, Sebastian in the chat as well. Big up, guys. Make sure, make sure you're hitting the like button and subscribe, not only to my channel, but also Beyond the 90 L LCFC. Let me 
Get but this one's easier. Make sure you go and subscribe to Steve as well. Yeah, and links just below. So you've not got an excuse now. <clears throat> Close on a fa uh, 1K, mate. It's coming up. Yes, 25 away or something. Yeah, let me put the link for your channel in there. So again, everybody, if you're here, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. You might as well. Facts. You, Didi, Mavadidi. Mavadidi outside of the boot. Ooh, I can see what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> 34 minutes in, still nil no, no Bristol City, Leicester City, Dicky, Pring, Pring back to O, not O'Leary, what's his name, Dicky, O'Leary, James. Played out by O'Leary. Oh, that's a nice little, nice little mm -hmm. touch. Conway misjumped it a little bit. Come on. Twine. Twine. Go. Kicks back. Keep it off. Keep it off. Him. Oh, bad pass night. So, yeah, our team is a bit of a Frankenstein formation in terms of there's players playing in the team that don't really work there. In terms of like Hermansen yeah. plays like an outfield player. Um, yeah. Sure. Then um, Vestergaard's not really a centre back for defensive end of his life. He plays with the ball. Wilfred and Diddy is not, he's a, he's a, he's a CDM, but we're playing him as a high eight. So, like Angola Ponte under Sari. Yeah. It he, he, that's what that's what Maurizio Sarri did at Chelsea. That was unique with Conte. He because they're kind of similar profile players. Like you could play them deeper, but they also got legs and some energy to go forward and contribute. Yeah, and also to to defend if he needs to, but also to break up the and again yeah. and break out of that pressure as well. Facts. Oh, bad oh, pass! Oh dear! Shot. Good block. Chowdhury, Bristol City won a handball. I don't think it was. Let's see a replay, though. I don't think it's coming to that, yeah. to that point anyway. Yeah. Goes for a corner, though. Not great. Goes for a throw-in. Twine will take that. Spring. Maddie James. Maddie James ball to the right. Trying to find George Tanner. See what I mean by um Michael Carrick vibes, where he's like old school, keeps the ball yeah. moving, plays the ball where he needs to. Yeah. Jason Knight. Try to play a Conway. That's a beautiful touch. Oh my god. Not great block, Chowdhury. It's still in the box. Yeah. Twine shot. Block. Cleared. Gee. My God, times were all over the place, but good blocking from us. Go on, Vardy. Oh, now you're on the counter, Vardy. No, he's just on his own now. Jamie Let's Vardy, to pick a pass. Nah. Oh, he charges in, Vardy. Relentless shot. Oh, nearly. Kind of made something. He made it all himself, that one. That's instant. It's heating up this, uh, this the That's last few insane. minutes. That's instincts right there. He ra Look at this touch. That's, oh. Yeah, that's really good. And then again, that block from Chowdhury is crucial, though. Wow, wow, And, wow. and Fast is just standing there. Yeah. Got caught flat-footed completely, yeah. You're pressing. Cleared up by Max O'Leary. Face header. Intercepted. Given away for Taro Foul. Loses. Bristol City are definitely offering something on the break. That's they are. Sure. They're playing. They're, they're playing offering well. some sort of threat. Yeah. They're defending <laughs> all right as well. Yeah, I think they've they've been all right. In my opinion, what I'd do for the next, if if, if I was at half time, 
mm. I'd put Chowdhury back at right, uh, the right, uh, right centre back, and I'd mm. move um, Foss off, and I'd bring Ricardo on as the inverted. Mm. For me, that would that would make sense because yeah. we are Foss at times has been suspect. Really, yeah. Hard. Justin Cross, no, not again. It's, it's near. It's not quite. We can do better. Definitely. Good, good work there, Chowdhury. Getting that interception. Dewsbury I... Hall skedaddles around. <laughs> Dewsbury Hall. Latau. I don't know. Indeedy sloppy touch. Draws a foul, though. Who do you got on the bench? Let's see. We've got quite a few players on the bench. We've got yeah, quite yeah. a stacked bench. Connor Cody could be an option. Um, but Marco Brighton. Dennis Marco, Pratt. Marco Nacho. Brighton is Joel's, James Milner. He's just like yeah. a knows yeah. what he's doing, but he's not going to get much game time. Mm -hmm. We've got Yunus Akgun, mm. Atsudaka, and Ianacho. That's an all right bunch, yeah. It's a, for the championship. That's a, that's an all right yeah. Premier League bench. Yeah. No, no, for the championship, it was a great yeah. bench. But I don't know who really gets replaced because yeah. I want to see more from both wingers. I want to see people giving. Kuhn and Jude Hall's been quiet. Can't lie. Yeah. He's... Avididi trying to draw a foul there. Never going to get that. Conway chasing it. Face. The play fuss. Chowdhury. Ah. Dead. Okay, now what? Eddie. Cross. Headed out. Chowdhury. Okay. Ooh, kept it in. No. Nope. Okay, now clean up, clean up, clean up, clean oh, up. Good nice. play. Nice little shuffle. Go on, Winks. Again, he's too nice. good for the championship, man. Look, he's just... yeah. Took on three people, got past them, and then yeah. got us out of trouble. Now, now we're playing on the on the break. In the front foot, yeah, yeah. Winks, Chowdhury, Winks, Vestergaard, Chowdhury, Vestergaard. He but well, damn, all right. <laughs> Dewsbury Hall, he's just getting tripled up on. Mm -hmm. I think it must be the tactic to try and take him out of the game, which is fine. Whenever he's receiving the ball, he's already got two men on him. Easy. And it's not close to goal either. Mm. It's not close to goal. It's closer to the halfway line than the... Than but the... now we've got to use that to our advantage and the other player's oh, got yeah. to step up. That's a good play. Go on. Pass. Vardy sticks with it somehow. Vardy to the right. Fatawu. Go on, Fatawu. Fatawu. Go on. Go on. This is your chance. This is your chance. Come on. Not quite. Take a corner. Decent from Pring. I think it was good defending, yep. Good defending for sure. Corner, though. Corner again for Leicester. Leicester need to get more bodies in the box when they attack. I just feel like they're stuffing you. They're stuffing you out wide so that centrally you've got, you've got a lot of work to do to kind of cut through. Because they're defending very well wide areas. And I think Mavadidi hasn't had his best game either, personally. Mm. He, he's the thing is, they'll keep Mavadidi on because a bit predictable when I watch him at Montpellier. A bit mm. predictable. But when it works, it really works. Whoa. Oof. Throw him for Bristol City. Three minutes till halftime. Probably won't be too much added on time. Maybe two minutes. One, I don't think so. Maybe a minute, two. Yeah. Maybe they just blow it at halftime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've done all right. We've done six out of ten. I think and I think Bristol probably been at like a seven. Yeah, I think they've 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 played through our pressure well. They've yes. ended. I think we. They forced Hermanson into two really good saves back to back immediately. Mm -hmm. So they've had probably the better chance of the game besides Vardy and I think Vardy also had one where it went a little bit more wide left. But that's about it for you guys for clear cut. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and the yeah. va fast is one, and Vardy's two. And fast, yes, yes, fast as well. Yeah. Um, but other than that, but they've definitely I Bristol City have had the different high quality. Besides when, the yeah. when Ricardo comes on and thinking the second half mm. after half time, but most likely at sixty minutes, you'll see mm. this Leicester team just step up another level because he's that that good. Yeah, um, he's dynamic. He can carry yeah. the ball. He's strong. He's yeah. Injuries have been the only complaint about the player. Yeah, that's literally it. Tanner, back to O'Leary. Vestergaard just heads it back. Head tennis here in the middle of the park. Chowdhury slaps it to the left. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think Chowdhury will be able to play. I don't think he's inverted right back. I think he's better at being the Wolford and Diddy position, that high eight, because he's yeah. just closing down from the front. Yeah, box to box, because he made he made one of the biggest defensive interventions of the game when Conway had that fucking like beautiful touch and he cut in when FaZe was just standing there and he was like, nah, fuck that. Just dove in and killed that off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, the thing is, uh, tackling and closing down and pressuring, he is really good. But mm. for inverted right back, you've got to be a very, very particular kind of person. Yes. There isn't many people that can do that role. Um, yeah. Ricardo is one of very few people that can. Yeah. Slips over. Trying to recover. Persistent, though. Loses it. Navadidi from deep. Navadidi. Dewsbury Hall. Now they're pressing. Played out of it decent just to clear it. Headed back in. One minute, yeah. Best of guard. Hermanson. Winks. Justin. Dewsbury Hall. Oof. Good read. See what they were trying to do. The towel needs to step up a little bit as well because mm. he's not been not been that great. He's he's there's Good levels to him. It's not Has he it. also played a bit on the left? The he, he can. He, he yes, but he's a, yeah. got this um, thunderbolt of a right of a left foot. So yeah. the idea again, another Frankenstein idea. Mavididi is a right-footed player playing on the left, and yes, Fatal is a right a left a right foot left footed player yeah. playing on the right, and that's how they like to play. So again, it's a little bit of like the opposite people in opposite visions. But I guess mm. that's finished one one. Oh, so fairly finished nil nil. I still think we're in this game. I still think we've created yeah. better opportunities overall. Yeah. I think Bristol played well, too. It's been, yeah, exactly what it says on the scoreboard. A pretty even game. No, no. Like, see if I can find some of the other stuff memorabilia before I go. Well, I'll show you some of the stuff that I've got in terms of, like, my Leicester memorabilia. Because, oh, Andy, since we're playing Bristol, I'll, I'll mention it. I'll be back in just a second. Let's see if I can find yeah, it. No worries. No worries, bro. No worries. But yeah, people, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, especially to my guy Neil beyond the 90 LCFC. Um, the link for his channel, I'm going to put it in the comments again. Subscribe, please do. Um, they're at how many? What do they got? For, uh, 2,490. 2,400. Yeah, fair. Yeah, people. No, no. Bristol City, Leicester City. Decent game. I think Bristol City have offered a good threat on the counter. Phase is looking a bit shaky, but halftime. Five shots for Leicester, none on target. Two corners and five fouls committed. Meanwhile, Bristol City got 10 shots. Three on target, three corners, three fouls committed. No yellows, reds, or offsides. You haven't any shots on target. That's the one thing also that I'd probably... We've created the opportunities. Vardy could have had two. Far should have had yeah. one. But, again, we've created the opportunities. But, again, that's something that you'd see from... If you're not watching the game, I think this is a problem. We just need to get better at it, really. I'll show you some of the... What is it? I've got some of my old shirts now. Where's it gone? Um, for when I've started supporting them years ago. This is my first mm. ever Leicester shirt. This is 2000... When we are in League One, this is when I started supporting Leicester City. Oh, this 2009-ish. Yeah, well done. Well, remember, man. this is my first. This is my first nice. shocking kit 
It's awful, but I've wore it to absolute debt. It's too small for me now. But that was my yeah. first kit. That I was like, that's my team. That's my city. That's my kit. Um, yeah. I've got all these. Uh, some of these are really small for me now. Um, mm. I've got this one. This is the Leicester. City. This is the one where we won the FA Queen. Cup. Got to have that one. Clean, um, sure. Really yeah. nice kit. Yeah. This one's the year after we won the league. So I've got the Champions, yeah, League, Champions it, league, which is you know you, you know, played, had to have played, the Champions League badges. You played, you played what? Porto, Club Bruges, and someone else in the group. Copenhagen. Well remembered, man. Well, Jesus. Copenhagen, and then you played Atletico Madrid and Sevilla in the knockout rounds. Yeah. Uh, and you played at like that was the first time you played at Atletico Madrid in what 50 years? You played each other in the 60s. We played each other in the um, in the inner cities fair cup or something. It's in the 2000s, um, around then under Martin O'Neill days, we played them, yeah. No. Um, and then I did have another one, so I was going to try and find it, but I've lost it now. But I've hmm. got the way the year we won the league, I've got the gold Premier League badges on, yeah. and that's with. I was going to try and reveal you and show you. That's the one with Andy mm. King on. Because he came Ooh. through our... We uh, bought yeah. him from Chelsea. It was like 13 years old. And he went from League One, so when I started mm. watching football, to Championship, to Premiership, to win the Premier League, to play in the Champions League. And he's the only player to do it. Um, the only player to win all three trophies with the same club. So I don't think that, that record will ever be broken with the Premier League, the Championship, and the League One with the same wow. club. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, mental. Um, and then the other one before before I go as well. This is my oh, this is my other key. This is a bit of a big one. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna bring this one. This is my little pride. So when they oh. when we won the league, I've got a Leicester City. Um, the certain we won the league, and that's when it's signed. So if you can see by, I actually went down to the ground. Golo Kante, you mentioning him? Oh my god, he's one. And then I've oh got on the other god. side. It's can't see on the screen. Uh, yeah, we've got. Um, Christian Fuchs, Gokhan Inla, and Shinji. Oh. So all the so every year they had like a um, all the new signings come and they do a a signing. And again, I didn't think we were going to win the league at all. At that, even at that oh, stage, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, you didn't know who Nogolo Conte was because you bought him from Khan. You're like, who is this guy? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a winger. He was a winger. Yeah. We played Andy King instead at that time. Yeah. Um, and I was like, yeah, cool. So I've got. There was a couple of other players, Nathan Dyer, um, mm. Ben Luan, I think is another one as well, who we signed that season. Um, but yeah, so I've got a shirt signed by N'Golo Kante, which is, wow. again, the reason why it's framed, that shirt means like, so much. The fact that they won the league that season. I've got a few other ones, but yeah, there's another yeah. one. Let's see if I can find the other But yeah, that just shows you as well some of the stuff that I've got, because this is my this has been my club for years. Um, and thank you for allowing me to just fangboy like out a little bit. Yeah, no problem. You're like 25-ish? You look 30. 20. Oh, wow. You look so, like yeah, I, my family aren't really into football. So, so I used to go with my mates uh, as yeah. a teenager, go down to the game, because you get a ticket for like eight, nine quid or so. Especially in League One, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as, a te as a teenager, you get it for, for nothing. Um, cool. So, yeah. Anyway, Steve, been a pleasure. Thanks for having me, man. Um, again, yeah, everybody oh, in the comments, make sure you like, subscribe, get Steve to a okay. K. Then he can hopefully get to the station, help support your boy. And yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to head off. I think we'll still win this. I still think we'll win this. I think you'll, I, I think I'll, I'll go two to one. Yeah. Two to one I'm last year. I think they got a goal in them. But, yeah, I think man, so. We've got to hit the bloody target at this rate. That's yeah. the main problem. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Nice yeah, one. thanks for coming Here's on, Steve. bro. Thanks, comments. Be up, everybody. I'll see you all later. Take care, Neil. Peace, bro. Uh, but yeah, cool. Uh, that was that was my guy, Neil. Met him through uh, Carefree Lewis's uh, on uh, Shameless FC. Definitely go check out that show. It's usually on Mondays. We usually run that on Mondays. But yeah, Neil, top guy. Good, good dude. Good dude. So yeah, good to uh, have some Leicester City insight. Like I knew a good amount about Lester, but like, yeah, obviously that's that's the guy for that. But yeah, people, half time. Um zero zero, uh Bristol City and Leicester City. Um second half will start probably in like five ish minutes or something. But like overall, my takeaways, I think Bristol City done, like I said, I think they done a very good job of defending out wide. Mavididi and um uh Abdul Fatu uh Fatuwu are not really huge factors in the game outside of a cross here and there, but 
Yeah, Neil's right. It's like a Frankenstein team. It's a lot of uh, unorthodox kind of players and um, ideas to fit a certain formation. You know, they play 3-2-4-1 when they go forward. Um, and then in defense, they kind of set up. Sometimes they'll even drop back to kind of a five. But, yeah, I think Bristol City have had, you know, obviously three shots on target. Um, Leicester only got – they don't really have any. So, I mean – yeah, decent half. Um, decent half of football. Um, but yeah, I think I do think Leicester have enough to kind of, you know, change the game a bit. But yeah, um, Leicester definitely um gotta step up a little bit in that second half. Um, but yeah, they do look like a really quality, high, you know, high quality coach too. Like I see a lot of the ideas that they're trying to pull off. They're 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 decent, man. This is probably the first game of Leicester city season where I like pay intense attention. Cause I'm like, okay. Like, you know, like I said with Neil earlier, like I watched some of the championship games and Leicester are on quite frequently. So I got a rough idea, but I didn't realize kind of how intricate it was. You know what I'm saying? Kind of details, but yeah. Uh, Millwall have just scored against West Brom, by the way. So that's one, nothing over, uh, Millwall are up one nothing on West Brom. Duncan Watmore with the goal. Um, but yeah, so I'll start this up in like five minutes. But yeah, big up people. Make sure you're hitting the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm not sure what we're on for likes and whatnot, but let me double check that. Um, yeah, we doing we're on running good numbers, man. Running good numbers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this will be the first watch along of the day. I'll probably yeah, definitely got the Derby du Nord uh in about what? Let me try some quick math. Six hours, six and a half, six and a half ish hours. I'll be doing the Derby du Nord. And also, I forgot actually, in between that, from two from two to four, I'll be on Northside's channel, do a dual stream on mine for Benfica versus uh Chavez. Um, so we got that going on as well. But, uh, yeah, so we got a lot coming up on uh, Scottsburg Steve this weekend. Um, tomorrow, we got uh, Newcastle West Ham. And then after that, straight after that, it's Leverkusen Hoffenheim. And then after that, it's um, it's uh, Bayern München Borussia Dortmund. And then after that, I might do, I might just go on Sarcasm City and just do the Brentford Man United game. Or I might do maybe Yazid Alkmar Vitesse, maybe watch Barca Las Palmas, but yeah, I might I might do a might do a might do a stream in the later hours of Saturday. But uh, yeah, people, um, a lot coming up on the channel, man. A lot of stuff. I just got to get some kind of shows and just some regular little videos kind of patterned up. But I'll see if Chloe's around for the Stevo and Chloe show tonight, possibly. So yeah, but um. A lot, of, a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening um, on the channel. Definitely trying to grow it. But what do we have for subscribers? 973. 973. And how far are we away on watch hours? We got 3,665 watch hours out of the 4,000 I need. That's fair enough. Um, the Q and A series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna run that on Chloe's. I gotta talk with her about that too. Actually, thanks for uh, mentioning that. Um, but yeah, I feel like they've ran this commercial for like the fourth time in a row. It's crazy, but but yeah. Um, game should be started pretty soon here. Let's see if I recognize anyone from Bristol City. Yeah, besides Andy King, Ross McCrory. This is Joe Williams' brother. I don't know who he is. Jamie Knight Level. 19 or Canadian. Okay. Have to keep an eye on him. They got a backup goalkeeper who's French. Adedire Mebudi. Mebude. Scottish. Okay, fairs. From the Man City U21s. I'm from KVC Westerloo. Huh. Interesting. Um, but yeah. 
Yep, so that'd be Alonzo staying at Leverkusen. I figured. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Norse had found me a link to watch a Benfica game. Good stuff. Good stuff. But, uh, yeah, people. Three people watching right now. Make sure you hit the likes, for sure. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, But, yeah, second half kicking off here imminently between Bristol City and Leicester, Leicester City. So, no changes for either team as of yet. But yeah, I agree. I think Ricard, I agree with Neil when he was like, they should be looking for, be looking to bring on Ricardo Pereira for phase, have Chowdhury play in that center half position on the right. I think that would probably be the best look for Leicester personally. But still got a strong enough team to uh, kill off Leicester, kill off. There we go. Second half has started, people. Bristol City, Leicester City. Bristol Rovers have a CONCACAF loanee called uh, Brandon Aguilera. He also played in the World Cup against Spain and Germany. I think I've heard the name before. That's cool. Nice. Nice. But yeah, here's about phase on the ball. Vestergaard. Good touch in DD. Faze. Faze trying to play in Vardy. Bit of a deflected header off Zach Viner. Cleared out by Bristol. At Bristol City. Bester guard. Bit of a sloppy touch to Dewsbury Hall. Good power. Draws a foul. Good ball, Chowdhury. Cut out. Cleared up by Fatawu. Drop him very far back. Is a good ball down the right. Trying to feed in Conway. Gets blocked by Vestergaard. Cleared out. It'll go almost out for a throw. And great effort from Mavididi. Draws a foul. Damn. Mavididi did very good to keep that in. Very, very good. God damn. He did just keep that in with that right foot. Jesus Christ. Wow. He's on loan from Nottingham Forest. Okay, okay. Brandon Aguilera. I think I've heard of his name before. Vaguely. Hermanson. I like this goalkeeper, by the way. I agree with Neil. He looks very good. Face. About face. Hermanson. Hermanson. Yannick Vestergaard. Vestergaard. Sloppy past Dewsbury Hall, turned over. Bristol City could go on the counter here. Play on, says the ref. Cameron Pring. Pring and Didi knocks it off. Goes for a Bristol City throw in. There is Nigel Pearson. That guy says some crazy stuff in press conferences. He really does. Hayden Roberts. Maddie James. James. Zach Viner. Back to O'Leary. O'Leary throws it. Hayden Roberts. Dickey. O'Leary. Getting hustled there by Vardy. Bad pass. Good work. Oh, blocked. Turned over. Bristol City will reset, trying to get it out from their own half. Leicester pressing high with about, what, seven in Bristol City's half. Bristol City playing well out of it, though. Good ball over the top to the left. Conway. Pring. Mimedi. Roberts, cross in. Twine shot blocked. Damn, Bristol now swarming. Jesus. I like the yeah, Bristol City looking decent, man. 
They're looking all right. Can't lie. They're looking all right. I'll flag up for offside anyways. Is Yannick Vestergaard? Hermanson? Chowdhury? Chowdhury over to Vestergaard. Vestergaard? Trying to play in over the top. Indeedy. Nope. Collected easily by O'Leary. O'Leary clears it out. Felt phase. Hamza Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Fatawa trying to hold it up. Gets hustled off it. Good pressure. Twine will take the throw in. Matty James. Dickey. Viner. Knight, Viner, Conway, trying to take a touch around phase. Intercepted by Vestergaard. Decent ball. Nice little touch there from Vardy. They could be on the break here. Vardy in front of goal. Save O'Leary. But the shot is not dealt with. Ball that don't. Maybe the idiot save from O'Leary. Huge gap. I mean, Bristol City leaving a wide open. Vardy, that touch is beautiful. Beautiful touch to flick it over to the right. And Vardy's just one-on-one -on -one with O'Leary. Good save. Good goalkeeping from O'Leary. Quickly taking corner just right to him from O'Leary. O'Leary, it looks decent, man. Trying to play quick throw. Blocked out by Winks. Nice interception. Steffi Mavididi. Justin. Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Dewsbury Hall. Quick pass in here. Vestergaard. Chowdhury. Dewsbury Hall. Face. Hermanson. Vestergaard. Winks. Hermanson. Still nil nil. Lester did just have two very, very good opportunities right in front of net, really. But O'Leary did good. Did good to save both attempts. Mavididi. Mavididi. Mavididi trying to cross it in. Not so much. Corner? No? Yeah, Vardy did all right there. And then that's great from Mavididi. Takes a shot right away. Good save with the the uh, right leg. Standing foot of um, Max O'Leary. I like this kid, Max O'Leary. He looks he looks decent. Dewsbury Hall going to take this corner. Corner in from Dewsbury Hall. It looks decent. Hatter. No one gets on the end of it, and Didi does pick it up on top of the box. Mavididi, and Didi, Winks. Winks was trying to play in the other winger, but intercepted on accident, basically, by Fatawu. Here is Steffi Mavididi, though, on the left again. Mavididi trying to cross with the right. Not a great cross. Bristol City going to try to call on the counter here. Jason Knight, Conway, not a good pass. Drifted too far. FaZe, trying to get a bit fancy. Fatawu, Chowdhury, Winks. Winks, Vestergaard. Chowdhury. Hamza Chowdhury trying to play in Vardy in behind. Good touch just to, nah, too heavy, too heavy. Too heavy. Do, 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 do. Let's see. 
Roberts going to take this throw in. Trying to organize it. Phase. Vestergaard. Do, 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 do. But yeah, big up everybody. Hope you're enjoying this. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, like always. Dusabri Hall trying to go over the top. Indeedy does very well to settle. Very well to settle that. Mavididi. Winks. Dusabri Hall. They just, Bristol are just frustrating the fuck out of them. Winks, Dewsbury Hall, Dewsbury Hall with the cross in. Indeedy trying to go for the header. Fatawu back heel. Nope. Cleared out. Hermanson, <laughs> bro, this guy's composure is very good. I like both of these goalkeepers. I really like both these goalkeepers. Indeed. Heavy touch there. They're not heavy, actually, so I just not, 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 uh, didn't settle it quite right there. Fatabu. Ghanaian kid on loan from, uh, Sporting CP in Portugal. 55 minutes in. I think Leicester should make a change, honestly. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Kind of in the next 10, 15 minutes-ish. Albeit they got a game on Monday they got to think about against Norwich, who are flying up the table. Here's Twine. Hayden Roberts. Dickey. Viner, Dickey, good work there from Hayden Roberts. Scott Twine, trying to get the yeah, nah. The towel tackle foul on Dewsbury Hall there from uh, Mamadi. It looks like and. Anis Mimati. Hey, what's up, AJ? Bye. Big up, man. 19 likes. Let's get to 20. Let's get to 20, people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Winks. Wide right. Decent pass for Fatawu to settle. About Faz. Dewsbury Hall. James Justin. Over to the left now for Steffi Mavididi. Settles with the left. Pass back. Wings trying to go right for Tawu. Easy header for Pring to deal with. Pring defending FaZe on the right. FaZe on an overlap. FaZe trying to get across in. Hey, pick up AJ by it, man. My guy. Pick up on Lester, Lester, Lester. I hear those away fans. <laughs> uh. Let's see. I actually gotta because I gotta make that Chavez Benfica thumbnail. Fatawu dropping really far back. Oh, that's a bad mistake. Oh, it's, oh yes, Harry Winks. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Fatawu there, a bit careless. Yeah, he was offside there. Yeah, he's very offside. Damn. And he didn't oh they didn't finish it. Jesus. 21 likes. 25. Let's get to 25, people. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. 25 likes. Let's do it. That's to God. Bristol City press in here. Hermanson. Chowdhury. Good settle in DD with the chest. Over to the right for Vout Phase. Chowdhury. Mads Hermansen. 
Manson. Good header. Lester do recover, though. Phase. Damn. Faze. Bro, Val Faze, you got to make a decision, man. You got to make a fucking decision, bro. Hermanson over the left. Settle with the chest from James Justin. Dewsbury Hall picks up. Wings. Faz. The towel. Nice quick pass. Faz in the box. Cross easily blocked by O'Leary. Halfway cleared out by Leicester. Or sorry, by Bristol City. Now they do fully clear it out. At least for the moment. Trying to press up Matty James. Nope. Chowdhury. Fatawu. Indeedy. Fats. Fats is getting a lot of the ball here on the right and hacking into midfield too. Winks. Justin. Winks. Dewsbury Hall. Lester moving the ball around nice and quick here. Mavididi. That's a great pass. Dewsbury Hall. Cross. Foul. Damn. Getting in behind here. They are getting in behind here. Some of these passes are very, very nice. Yeah, Dewsbury Hall has a great run. But yeah, that was a foul. Foul the Bristol City defender in his box. Yeah, about phase, man. Jesus. That is, bro, crazy. AJ Byatt, I see you are doing John. Jonathan David watch later today. Yes, the Derby du Nord between Lille and Lens. Yes, one of the most intense derbies in all of France between the two uh, northern rivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely doing that game. Big, big, big time game. Very excited to do that one. A lot of talented players on both teams. A lot of talent. And two really decent managers as well. But yeah, Max O'Leary going to take this goal kick here for Bristol City. <laughs> He'll sign that out. Fatau. Fatau's got a fucking motor, man. Pass back to O'Leary from, was that, Matty James? Viner. Fine. Ooh. Bristol City made a sub, by the way. I forgot to note it. Which was... What was the sub that they made? Fucker. Oh! Poor pass! Marty! Oh, he did! Oh! O'Leary with the big error there. He's too soft. Vardy, how do you know? Oh, what a fucking save. Vardy just needs to go the other way. Wow. Vardy, you just got to slam that shit, bro. Like, I get it. It's a low-driven strike that you, you should score, but damn, O'Leary recovered well. That was a bad mistake. Very bad mistake from O'Leary. It was probably his only of the game, but it recovers so well. Dewsbury Hall with the corner for Leicester City. Dewsbury Hall corner doesn't meet the head of Faz. Chased down, though, by Mavididi. Nope. Goal kick. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Fucking hell. He's got score there. Yes, the score there. Top save, though. O'Leary. Chad. Hayden Roberts. Matty James. Viner. Ball to the right. Faze heads it out. Falls to Justin. James Justin. Dewsbury Hall tries to spin and turn. Nope. No, no, no. No, no, no. But yeah, still one nothing Millwall over West Brom, which I'll be in. And it's still nil-nil here. Um 
Mill no here, Bristol City, Leicester City. There you are. There you are. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Face. Good strength and DD gets the foul. Does get the foul there. Uh, so Ross McCrory got subbed on for George Tanner, and Mark Sykes is subbed on for Scott Twine. So there are the two changes there for um, for uh, Bristol City, made about three minutes ago, coming up on four. Uh, Austin Griffin, Steve, how many years do you think Alonzo stays at Bayer Leverkusen? Hmm. He'll stay next season, obviously, and then maybe the one after that. Maybe he goes to Real Madrid after Ancelotti's contract is done. So maybe one more year. Then I think he'll go to Real Madrid, probably. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to go to Liverpool. Fair play to Javi Alonso. I think he's very, very intelligent. Not just footballing intelligent, but he seems just like a very, very smart individual. Like, he's taking his time. And he took his time at uh, Real Sociedad, the, the B team. Um, and he jumped at the Leverkusen opportunity when he felt he was ready and right for the job. So fair play. It, you know, other managers would have just taken opportunities right away. But he rates himself and knows that, you know, he's got ability as a manager, but he really wants to settle down somewhere and establish himself. I, I appreciate that. I think it takes a lot of, um, takes a lot of intelligence. They'd kind of do that. Here's Conway. Bristol City on the break. Conway to the right. Sykes. Conway in the box. Conway. Conway, good footwork. Trying to shuffle around in the box. Doesn't get a shot off. Is that Ross McCrory? Who the fuck is that? That Vididi good defending. I think that is Ross McCrory. Yeah. Viner. Sykes lines up a shot, decides to cross in. James wants a handball. Nothing, nothing called by the ref. Hatter, damn, Bristol City really, really, really bringing a threat here. A lot of momentum in their favor. Mamedi, Mamedi cross in, headed out by Faust. Wow, this, this, press, this, this pressure from Bristol City is. Uh, Looking really decent. Roberts. Prim. Or Pring. Jason Knight. Viner. Sykes. McCrory. McCrory. Touch around the box. Shot. Woo. Side netting. Good strike. Really nice touch. And then that touch just to create separation from Dewsbury Hall to get into the box. Takes a shot on. They didn't get it on target, but good work there, McCrory. Those subs immediately having an impact, bringing a lot of energy and looks like some hustle. McCrory's good awareness. Chowdhury, Leicester City trying to get back into a bad pass. Easy turnover for Bristol City. Mimetti. This honest Mamedi dude looks all right, you know. But yeah, still no no people. 68th minute, 20 minutes left, and then a few, you know, spare change for some extra time. Over the top, nothing there. Kyle O'Leary, Max O'Leary settles. Bristol City have a lot of confidence right now. The, the, the momentum, they're trying to make things happen here. Here is Mamedi on the left. Mamedi. Mamedi. Mamedi driving. Wants a foul. Chaudhry says, get the fuck up. Ref agrees. Both of them smile it off. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. I think so. oh, someone making a sub. I think someone might be making a sub here. Shortly. 
Naki Wells is going to come on from Bermuda. That up. Uh... Two seconds, people. Yeah, still no, no. No, no, just changing up some shirts here. About Faz? Chaji. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I get the pillows. My back is starting to kind of feel dodgy. We got uh, Nathi. Nathi. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. We got Steve. You have so many watch alongs set up for the weekend. Looking forward to them. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Dewsbury Hall turned over. Mamedi. Mamedi goes back to Roberts. O'Leary. Lester Presson. Vardy. Still an animal, man. Should have had a goal today, though, to be fair. Should have had a goal, probably, but good goalkeeping from O'Leary overall. Dustin goes out for Bristol City throwing. But yeah, Naki Wells. Who did Naki Wells come on for? Uh, Naki Wells came out for Conway. Dewsbury Hall. I'm so excited for that fucking, what's it called? You live in America, the UK. America. America. Yes, indeed. America. That's where I'm at. Best of God. Would love to visit the UK, obviously. Got like tons of friends from all different places. Newcastle, friggin' London and Birmingham. I, I know a lot of people from a lot of places in the in the UK. Faze, Neil, obviously, lives in Leicester. James Justin. James Justin trying to drive with it here. Finds Dewsbury Hall. James Justin trying to poke it on. Last second defending from Bristol City. Good run. And he continued the run, James Justin. Dewsbury Hall. Good little pass out to the left. Crossing the box. Vardy goes up for the header. The down. Woo. Lester, man. Jesus Christ. They got to get that fucking ball in the net, bro. God damn. Fatawu. Fatawu, man. You got to get that on target. You get that on target, that's a goal. Or like maybe you hit the post. That's not a foul. He, he fucking fell over. James Dustin. That's good there from Dewsbury Hall. That's good from Justin. It's good, really good from James Dustin to continue the run. It was like off balance, but he, yeah, he fell too easy there. Ball over the top. Hermanson, good goalkeeping. 12 shots for Bristol City, 9 for Leicester City. Both of them, though, with 3 on target. That's a decent pass. Mimedi. Bristol City, all but nothing. How is Mimedi? That's a beautiful goal. What a strike. What a fucking strike. Damn. Outside of the box. Left corner, Hermanson can't do anything about that. They he cannot do anything about that. Damn, son. Anis Mamedi, who's had a very good game for Bristol. A very I, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Boy, commentator saying he's two footed. Mamedi. Damn, 23 year old Albanian. That's a nice goal. Damn. Damn. Dude. 
He looks he looks good. Scored a banger just now. Damn. One nothing. One nothing Bristol fucking city, you know. What a strike, honestly, with the left. Created a little bit of space and Br Bristol City small blood here. And then it's a, it's a through ball. They could be in here. Great ball. Oh, Hermanson said. Jeez, Bristol City could be up to here. Damn, Naki Wells. That's good work there. And it's Sykes. Yeah, Sykes has made a good impact on the right. Him and McCrory. Damn, all the momentum, all the, all of it, all the fucking momentum right now with Bristol City. It's going to be a corner here. Here it comes in. Header, some head tennis, cleared out, offside anyways. Damn, what a fucking golazo, man. That's a decent strike, you know. That's a decent fucking strike. Fair play. Ashton Gate. Damn. Now, Leicester City looking a bit shaky, bro. They're looking a little bit shaky right now. I can't lie, bro. I can't lie. But, yeah. Damn. What a goal. What a goal. I forgot to put the banner up. Katau. Bristol City trying to get another counterattack. Does very well. To cut that out. Lester could be on the break here with Mavididi. He's getting tripled up on. Easy block. O'Leary saves it from going out for a corner. Yeah, Mavididi. He's always getting tripled, doubled up on. And it's not his best game for Mavididi, to be honest. Not his best game. Definitely not. Leicester City are making a sub, it looks like. And it is Danilo Pereira, which Neil was saying he wanted to see that at halftime. So he's about, what, 31 minutes late to that sub. Who's going to come on, though, for that? Who's going to – sorry. Now who's going to come on? Obviously, Ricardo Pereira is going to come on, but who's coming off is the interesting question. Yeah. Ooh. That's a decent strike. Decent, decent strike from Mehmeti. Ooh. That's, that's all right. That's all right, you know. Decent, decent goal. That's a strike, bro. Oh. Damn. Lester doing an arsenal and bottling the league. <laughs> oh. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Big up, Chloe. Hope you good. But yeah, it's one nothing Bristol City. Fucking hell. Yeah, Leicester haven't been at their best. They have, they've had three chances to score goals, or at least two. Both the Vardy ones. Still got 13 minutes left. Could turn it around. Good interception from Hayden. Mamedi. Faze covering Mamedi. Honest Mamedi. Mamedi. Good footwork. Tries to get a cross, a shross in, shot cross. Easy for Hermanson to deal with. I want Lester to come up. My mom supports them. AJ, please don't remind me. Oh, my God. That's funny. Yeah, Arsenal, man, they're world famous, world-class bottlers. Dewsbury Hall. Kalachi! Your chip city! Offside. 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 That's a great run from the Anacho. The finish was fucking, yeah, typical Chip City. Boy. Hopefully Leverkusen don't capitulate like Leicester. They won't. They won't. Because Bayern are going to drop. I know we'll drop points. That's a foul. Ricardo Pereira fouls in there. For fuck's sake. Bristol City making another sub. Jason Knight is off. 
And Joe Williams is coming on. Looks like, uh, I think I said, hold on. Joe Williams, I think it said he was a midfielder. Okay, so yeah, like for like. Yeah, Bristol City just keeping their shape. Leicester second. Yes. Yeah, they're second place right now behind Leeds United. Actually, well, no. They're top right now, but if Leeds win their game, uh, they play Watford today. If they win that and this result holds. Actually, no. Leeds are top because. Never mind. This isn't a draw. It's 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 both are on eighty four. I think it's that eighty three. Now nah, Leeds are top right now. Leeds United behind who? Leeds United, motherfucker. What's up, booty? Um, I do think Leverkusen could go unbeaten. They'll definitely do it on. They'll they'll they might lose one or two games. Maybe I think they'll go unbeaten in all comps. I think they're going to do some crazy fuckery. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Warrior. Yes, Leicester City are second place. Big up, big up, booty, my bro. That sounds so fucking perverted and wrong and pause worthy, but big up, man. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leeds, needs are falling up hard. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, big up booty. The Leeds resident fan. Leverkusen five wins and they've won the league mathematically that they'll probably just need to win two or three. Yeah, exactly. They're not bottling it. Cross in. Nothing there. Hermanson, easy claim. Hermanson throws over to about face. Who's that? A, not a good game, honestly. Ricardo Pereira. Pereira draws a foul. Easy booking for Naki Wells. Where is Naki Wells from? I think he said Bermuda. This guy was on FIFA. Bermuda, yeah, I was right. He's played at Burnley, QPR, Huddersfield Town, Bradford City, fucking Carlisle United, Eckes Hill, Bermuda, Hogs, and Dandy Town FC. What the fucking hell? 24 appearances for Bermuda, 17 goals. That's just, that's straight killer stats right there from fucking Naki Wells. Jesus. Bro's got game. Hermanson. Vestergaard. Faz. Winks. Pereira. Good work there. Wells, actually. Mamedi. Mamedi. Foul. The towel will foul in Mamedi again. I feel like that's the third time in the game, probably. Jesus. Hayden Roberts, Dickey, Roberts, back to Robert Dickey, 22 likes, get it to 25, get it to 25 if we could, get it to 25 people, get it to 25, much appreciated people, much, much, much appreciated. <laughs> Try to flick it up, Sykes. Mavididi, Winks, Winks, shifts over to the right, Batawu receiving deep, Fass, Ricardo Pereira, good pass, Dusby Hall trying to play it on, Ricardo Pereira, Fatsu. Fass, Vestergaard, decent pass, it's a nice move here from Leicester. Trying to feed Nacho. Cleared out. Only liking when Leicester score. Oh, well, then I might not get a like from you, Chloe. How sad. How sad. 
Vestergaard. Leicester just committing everybody forward. Everybody is on the fucking oh, in, in, in Bristol City's area. Vestergaard. Didi. Entire space. Sykes. Turned over, though. Leicester. This is danger zone. Mavididi with the cross. Good block from Hayden Roberts, who's had a good game so far. Is he mainly playing on the left, but that, that back three looks pretty interchangeable for Bristol City. They kind of swap roles, and they look all right, man. They look all right. They're like a solid mid-table team. I think they just need some difference makers in midfield, really. Header, no. Yeah, Bristol City aren't too far off of... I don't think they have any chance of... Can they get in the playoffs? They're on 50 points, 6 places, 11 points in 6 games. I don't think they could get in the playoffs. They'd have to win everything. They'd have to win all their games, Bristol, and hopefully a bunch of teams drop. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't recovering 11 and 8 to get sixth. That's the yard. Uh oh. Bristol City could be an idea. James Justin gets shoved over. Bristol City in the box. Sykes. McCrory. Naki Wells. Blocked by Justin. Naki Wells. Mavididi doing some defensive work. Goes out for a Bristol City throwing. Uh, wait. Have Lester only made one sub? Yeah. No, two. Ianacho for Vardy. Maybe bring in Prat or Akgun for one of the wingers. I don't know. Here's Harry Winks. Who's Brawl? Oh, for fuck's sake. Big up Matt. Matt's channel. Bristol Rovers resident fan in the building. That's a foul. I think if Chelsea got Rovers... <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Chelsea would struggle in the championship because they play low block. Fucking hell. It's funny. A terrible pass to absolutely nobody. Mamedi tracking back, picks it up. Header from Vestergaard. They could play Wells down the middle. They could play Wells down the middle. McCrory. McCrory. Ross McCrory. Shuffling around with the ball to the middle of the park. Finds Mamedi on the left. Anis Mamedi. Mamedi cross. Too powerful. Goes out for a goal kick for Leicester City. Yeah, two subs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Two subs. Ianacho for Vardy and fucking Ricardo Pereira for... um. Uh, who was it again? Ah, uh, Chowdhury. I, I, I agree with... Fucking um, Neil, though. I thought they should have subbed out Fez. Patabu. That's a foul. Bristol City just kind of slugging it out here. Sykes, Liam Sykes picks up a yellow. Bristol City don't want to give away too many free kicks. Some Moroccan from the World Cup who had my Instagram asked me about Mimedi. Ah, honest Mimedi. Yeah. I'm serious. I don't think we'd come straight back up yet. Mavididi? James Justin. Trying to pick it up passing. Trying to pick a pass in midfield. Bristol City could be on the break here. Here's honest Mimedi. Mimedi, a good through ball. Naki Wells chase it down. What's a pen? Ref is not giving it. He hasn't given really anything in the box. Mamedi. Faze defending. Mamedi. Tricky Albanian, man. These tricky Albanians, bro.
It's shoulder to shoulder from Winks. Could maybe call a penalty there. I think that'd probably be harsh, actually. But damn, it's raining like crazy. Fucking hell. Um. Oh, damn, it's hail. Holy fuck. Pring. Faz kicks it out. Bristol City just... Um, just kind of taking this sweet time. For goal kicks. And... Yeah, and he, Naki Wells plays for Bermuda, Matt. Bermuda. To get another throw in out of it. Bristol City, in game management to kill off this excellent, to be honest, excellent, like just kill off the game type thing. Five minutes added on. I think that's, I would have done like three, but whatever. Cleared out. Lester trying to get anything going, but Bristol squeezing them in their own half a bit here. Dewsbury Hall on the ball. Has to pass it. Gets. Shoved off. Pass goes right to. Yeah, they roughed up Dewsbury Hall there. That hail is crazy, yo. Jesus Christ. Harry Winks. Fatawu. See, their wing play. They, they, there's, always, there's just not much space to work with. Bristol is playing in a 5-3-2. Ooh. Base. Steps up a bit, cuts out. Bristol City clear it for the moment. Sykes are going to chase it. Ooh. Hermans. Hermanson. James Justin. Hermanson. Winks. Faz. Yeah, you're right, Warrior. Second place gets automatic promotion. First and second get automatic promotion from... Championship to Premier League. Pereira wants a foul. Fast. Gets cut out there. Does fall generously to Fatawu. Damn, Pring is just hustling him the fuck off the ball. Terrible pass from Fatawu. Mavididi tries his best to chase it back. That Yo, Pring has had a very good... If I had to pick a man of the match, I think Pring wouldn't be far off. Um, a shout for man of the match for Bristol City. I think he's done a very good job defending Futawu. What the fuck? It stopped hailing and now it's like bright. It's like New Hampshire weather, bro. Damn. That's, hey, Leicester City, don't bottle this, bro. Don't fuck it up. Sykes. Vestergaard coughs it up too easy. Matty James. Tanner. Ooh. Finds a ball. Offside. 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 British weather for you. Yep. Fucking hailing for like three minutes, and then all of a sudden the sun is like bright. Like That's, that's New Hampshire weather as well, so it's similar to England. Where the weather changes in like five minutes. Big up, Steve. Only just got home, so couldn't watch you at the game. No worries, bro. Big up, Ryan G, for dropping by anyways. I see you got the Wolves profile picture back in it. That's a through ball, and that is onside. Wells. Naki Wells. Let's go one-on-one. Faye's trying to play over to Mimetti. Good, good interception, Faz. Lester got to do something here. Two minutes left. Sloppy, 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 sloppy pass. And Bristol City easily regained possession in the middle of the park. Leicester got to get bodies back. And again, Bristol City just killing off this game like professionals. Back heel, Mamedi goes for a Bristol City throw in. They're going to take their time here. Another tick, 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 tick. Yeah, Leicester ain't doing nothing, bro. All it does where I live is rain, rain, rain. Oh, it's still raining. Did I just watch hail? Then it started, then it was, then it was fucking bright sun. And then now it's raining again. 
in the span of fucking stoppage time. That's crazy. Pring, chasing down FaZe, forces him to cough it up. See, Bristol City, this is something I saw when they played West Ham. They fight, they scrap, they know how to kill a game off. That's offside. I'm not sure what their problem really is, is Bristol City. Maybe quality in midfield. Maybe someone a bit dynamic, but I don't know. Yeah, wake up everybody inside. Make sure you hit the like button. Trying to find the ball over to Ianacho. Nope. Max O'Leary, easy claim. 20 seconds left. Probably game here, to be honest. That's a sick goalkeeper kit. Nice and colorful. Looks like something you'd find in the Chicago, New York Art Museum or whatever. Le Louvre. 24 likes. 25. 25. Game over. Leicester City. Leicester City are bottling a possible Premier League promotion. Neil. Neil. What you doing? What's your team doing, bro? What's going on? What's going on with Enzo Maresca's, you know, title chasing foxes, bro? What's going on, Neil? What's going on, bro? What's going on? What's going on, Neil? Jesus. Bristol City won. Leicester City nil. Final. Final, 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 people. Damn. Damn. I'll pull up the championship table here, people. Yeah, poor Neil, man. He's struggling out here. He's doing an Arsenal, you know, battling the league title and shit. Or he's doing a Borussia Dortmund. But, yeah, people, here is. Here is the championship table. This thing's currently stands. So, you got Leeds United, 82 points. Same games played as Leicester. Um, but Leeds will play Watchford later today. I believe that's – is that an away game or is that – it's a way, a way to Watford or what? Oh, they shit Watford. Damn, they could maybe get relegated. Nine points off with six to go. Maybe not. Um, Yeah, not ideal for Leicester. I mean, if Switch are right on their ass, Southampton have two games in hand. If they win both, could go up to 79. There's some pressure. There's some pressure. Leicester are feeling some pressure here, people. They're feeling some pressure. Um, but no, in reality, um, Leicester, they played all right. Um, as soon as they went one nil down, though, it did not look like they were gonna score. It really didn't look like they were gonna score, to be honest. Um, yeah, the sun's out in Bristol again. I can't fucking keep up with the weather changes, bro. But yeah, um, look, fair play to Bristol City. Fair fucking play. Like they did, they did all right. They did all right. Um today. They were always a threat in the first half on the counter. They coped well for the most part with Leicester City, but Leicester still had some chances to score. So yeah, not a good day in the office in Leicester's form recently. Is not looking that pretty. You know, losing to Chelsea in the FA Cup quarterfinal is what it is. Drawing two two away to Hull City. Beaten Sunderland one nothing, but I heard they didn't play well. QPR beat them two to one at, at the at the King Power. You know, beat Bournemouth one nothing. The FA Cup lost three one to Leeds United. Lost two to one to Middlesbrough. You know, so they've been a bit shaky recently. You know, that's one loss, two loss, three loss, a draw, and another loss. So four losses out of six in the championship for Leicester City. They had a fat lead up at the top for a good amount of time, too. So a bit concerning, a bit concerning for, for those of uh, you know, Leicester City fans. But, look, big up, everybody. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it um, that Neil also joined and appreciate the support as always. Y'all are the y'all are the fucking best. Um, got some really loyal support. You know, gaming for life. My brother. You know, Matt's channel. Ryan G. Chloe. Warrior J. Ninety three. AJ. Buy it. Like the same goons. The same fucking goons. You know what I'm saying? You know, BVB David. 
Booty McToot, like all the guys in the building, you know what I'm saying? So, look, appreciate everybody that tuned in. And, uh, you know, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but, yeah, uh, Brian, watch alongs. Yes. Yes, sir. We've got – I will redirect it to – I'm doing a Benfica watch along with Northside. I got to get that set up. So I don't have really the time to make that right now. But thank you everybody for watching and tuning in. Appreciate it. Tons of watch alongs this weekend. And then later today, dual stream with Northside, Benfica versus uh, Chavez. And then right after that, Derby du Nord between Lons and Lille. Don't fucking miss it, people. Don't miss it. Very, very, a very, very good Derby. A lot of talented players on Leo and Lons as well as they do top six battle for positions, possible champions, league qualifications. So, yeah, people, appreciate it. I will catch you in, what, three and a half hours about. Take care, people. Peace out. End the fucking